This video may not be appropriate for children of 13 and under. Parental discretion is advised. Hi everyone, my name is Raziel Kane and I'm back with part 5 of 6 of the Jinbao Oversize uh, Bruticus set. And now today's Swindle. Swindle which, he, look at the face sculpt on this guy. They actually, you know, managed to capture his true essence. And, uh, but there's one problem, a major problem with this figure. Uh, but, uh, you know, I'll show it in... Uh, Few minutes. Uh, one thing I have to mention is that Swindle is probably the most popular Combaticon ever. Like he's been, he's had like you know feature episode by uh, by himself. Uh, he tried to you know swindle Galvatron, uh, and uh, he's been in Transformers animated, and like he's been represented in more uh, fiction than the other Combaticons, except maybe Brawl, who was a big part of the War for Cybertron games. So yeah, but uh, I, I like this guy uh, the Jeep is uh, he has a full trunk um, if you can say that because you know, there it it's not like empty like you would uh, think a, a Jeep would uh, in the back um, so but it's still a very good he looks more like a Hummer so before I do the review I just want to remind everyone to check out my voice acting playlist the main feature of my channel something I'm very proud of and also check out my sponsor DJC collectibles a fantastic online store and at the end of this video, you can get your 10% discount code for anything Transformers. And now let's roll the intro. That's it, bro. But check this out. And part five of six uh the final member and by far i think the most popular character uh so much that they gave him a nice facial expression that represent really his mood so i'm really happy with this guy and uh so I, I you know played with it a little bit i lost one of these things these are used if you want to just kind of it's a peg mover basically so you have a peg here but you can move it you know here so that you can have a uh, a gun well not this one uh, not this peg but this peg you can have a gun here or the little one and but I'm pretty sure I lost the other one um, I didn't take a full inv inventory and then I moved things around and I think I lost it but I'm not sure now let's stay there one gripe I have with this figure is that unless I'm completely missing it there's no way to attach the arm cannon to his arm. I mean, there's no peg um, in the back. There's no peg here. There's no peg on the side. There's nothing inside the wheel that I could use for a peg. So you can't give him his arm cannon. Like, and I, I thought this was gonna, you know, somehow clip mir miraculously here, which it absolutely doesn't. So that's, that's a huge downside for a character who's iconic to have a freaking arm cannon. So, yeah, yeah, I mean, you can do the G2 Megatron thing on him, but it's, it's not what I want to do. So, disappointed in that. But otherwise, um, great representation. He's completely a Hummer. I said Jeep earlier, and I said it looks more like a Hummer. Now I just transformed it to practice. It's absolutely a Hummer, which... You know what? It fits modern warfare stuff. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm not, I'm not angry. I'm not disappointed that he's not a jeep. Um, I like it. Uh, more military. Um, you know, that's why blast off should be something else. And uh, yeah, oh, you have toe movement. That's cool. All right, so let's take a look at the paint. Uh, he has light piping again, same as the other little slit, very tiny. Uh, big uh, kibble at the bottom of the back, which is weird. Um, nope. Clip everything together. Oh, wait. No, I mistransformed him. That's not part. That's his chest piece. And this, yeah, you kind of just shove your... So that's how he, he's supposed to look. But to me, it makes so much sense to have it like that, that I always forget to remove it. But anyway, so boom. Uh, but that does not fix the problem I have with the uh, cannon. I'm not pegging on the arm, so whatever. Um, nice chest, silver, you know, uh, gunmetal here, the purple, purple, silver, uh, dark gray, little purple, silver with the black, 
uh, the joint. I think they should have used the same color, but the hand and the wheels kind of all match together. So that's good. Uh, details on the side, you'll see the window in alt mode. Uh, cleans up real nice. A big backpack. You have the same uh, little flap things uh, that you had with Brawl, um, which are just there for the purpose of covering holes. And I, I, I like that. Hasbro should do that more often. Um, which, to be fair, they kind of did for uh, the Legacy United line. Uh, like, uh, I like the details, the silver. Yep. He's a tall bot. And it works. You have the foot. We've seen the other one. You have the cannon. It looks good. You just can't peg it anywhere. Or not in any way that I could find. Um, please let me know in the comment if I'm wrong. Uh, full of waffle. This kind of looks like a little Megatron. Uh, but with the scope on top. I don't know. It, it give me a give me a quick uh, Megatron vibe for a second. But yeah. And this peg with I still don't know what it does. Yeah, sound wave was about to blow a hole on your chassis. Articulation, you have your full rotation on this fantastic head. Um, so I have a bit of a stretch mark, a stress march here. Stress mark, god damn it. Uh, here, so too bad. Uh, you do have your full Ferris wheel, no problem. Uh, the arm doesn't go up, but you do have a butterfly because of the transformation. So, oh, it's a tight butterfly. Uh, you have a rotation at the bicep. Uh, you have uh, your band. And you know what? He bends both ways. So if you prefer to have this look for your forearm, you just need to rotate. And that's a new look. But the instruction just, you know, showed it that way. Um, you have a... Wow, do you? We'll see. Yep, your merry-go-round works well. You just have to be careful uh, with the backpack. And then you have a... Oh, I might not get... Nope. You don't get a Johnny Cage with him. The legs and the skirt, the skirt doesn't move on him. All right, no GC, man. Uh, you do have a fantastic uh, knee band. You have a rotation underneath the hip joint. And you have a good ratcheted, oh god, kickback. Uh, well, you know, the pack, the, the backpack kind of hinders. And a slight forward. Uh, so uh, you have a rocker at here and then a back and forth for the toe. And he's probably the most stable of them all. But this always moves around. So there you go. So he has a bigger kibble than I expected because this is supposed to go like this and this is supposed to go over it. There you go. Still cleans up real nice. I like him. I really do like him. So there you go. I just said you were the stabler. Come on, man. All right, let's put that back in here. Actually, that's going to pop off in transformation. Uh, the you know, four fingers articulated on one joint. You put the gun in. Uh, the only one that did give me problems was uh, the uh, onslaught. Uh, here you have a bigger gun like that. Oh. Again, you have to hold everything or else. Oh, well, it doesn't go in there. Okay. So I guess you have to use the... Uh, well, let's put it on the other side. You can use the small one, but because of the forearm, it kind of blocks, but there you go. That's a new look for Swindle. But I mean, he's not a Jeep, so why not? He looks really good. I think he's my favorite of the five, I have to say. Um, yeah, I, and, but I don't think I have a least favorite because unlike the Devastator mold where Mixmaster was clearly the you know, weakest link, uh, they're pretty much all at the same level. They're not m amazing for, you know, s articulation and all that stuff, like the solidity. But everything else, yeah, I like them. So, all right, let's do a quick comparison with uh, uh, what's been a standard for this series. My Masterpiece Sunstreaker. And again, he's way shorter in the cartoon. Um, so, 
Neo Master Deluxe to Deluxe Low Masterpiece, the oversize, uh, it's bigger. Okay, let's remove this. Let's remove this. Oh yeah, leave it there because uh, that's gonna pop off in transformation. So, all right. Uh, you want to lift this up, close this, but it won't go straight in. You want to move them like this, and then no, there's a an actual side where they're gonna go in smooth and now I can't find it because of course I'm on camera there you go close that there you go okay they tell you to start with the top which is true but the instruction uh, will tell you to you know do the whole front and then the uh, the legs uh, don't do that do part of the front but don't put the arm in yet so put the you know the the head backward um, then you want to move this well yeah I guess so because you're gonna need this later uh, let's wait now really let's wait for the arms extend this whole thing here so basically you take the backpack and you unfold the whole thing and then you can plug it all together like this and that's his flight mode uh, you want to pull this tab down uh, lift this one up and then fold the he the, the heel on underneath the toes and yep and that's yeah that's where the toes are gonna flip up here because uh, you know there's a bit of a articulation here so this is gonna and then you want to hold them on top like this then uh, do you, do you want to clip first I don't know let's let's try to clip together first then you spin them and you want to move them so well actually you know what yeah unfold this lift them up because they show you to do that at the end, but I don't agree. And now the flaps have went down, so put the flaps back in, clip it together. Wow. And then you have your back end done. And, oh no, it goes over. Yeah, sorry. Okay. No, you're good. Okay, so we close it, leave this there, clip this, and put it just underneath, uh, behind the, uh, the hood. And then you want to play with the arms. And the reason why is that once the arms are in, it's really hard to fold the legs. So what you want to do is, um, oh yeah, you have this mechanism here. And okay, turn the end this way so that you have the purple line. And you go, come on. Like this um, yeah and then you want to take that slot that peg and put it here we're gonna do the same thing on the other side so unfold this this is gonna go here where's the peg there it is okay and then lift this like that turn it around like this it here you just kind of shove it in there and then put the clip there you go so underneath is done now there's a uh, peg here for this and then here for here just like that and then a little peg here on the side there you go that's your Hummer Cleans up really nice. Love the window, the silver. Looks good. Um, and then after that, this piece here doesn't clip anywhere else than the shoulder. I well, well, technically that's not true. You could put it here. I think 
you know, that looks good. It's just I'm missing the other one. Which will probably found vacuuming or something. I don't know. Uh, then you want to take this, put it here. And this, and put it here. That's how they show it to you. So that's the turret mode that we've seen in G1. And there you go. That's your Hummer. I like it. I'm a, I am was a big fan of Hummers back in my teenage years. Um, but the original military one. Not too fond of the H2 and H3 that they did. This is really nice. And I like the color. You know, Desert Storm Operation kind of color. So, yeah. I like the uh, little uh, silver lights all around. The windows. You know, gray plastic. This movable piece, uh, which flaps all over all, all the time. Uh, plastic wind, uh, wheels, uh, silver, nice pegs, all the same thing. You know, different than Asbro having two type of pegs. Rolls fine uh, compared to overall. And the back end cleans up really well. Uh, no problem. I mean, you can see some junk on the inside, so that's not too pretty. But nice tail lights. Yep, can't complain. And you can see here where the foot is gonna peg. So, all right, there you go. And talking about the foot, uh, let's uh, go get the instructions. Swiggle! So it's all the way up to here. So you're gonna need the foot. You take the Jeep and you lift this part like that. And you, oh. Really? This goes down? No, it doesn't. Does it? Or does it, is this turn? This, oh, okay, like this. Uh -huh. Oh, again, this pops off. So leave it. All right, so you move it back like this. Then you take this. And... How do you move it down? Oh, you have to unpick the wheels? Aha! Unpick the wheels. Move this down. And put the wheels back in, I guess. Alright, is there pegs? Yeah, these two pegs are gonna go here. Nope, they don't. They don't line up. Okay. Well, there you go. So you put that there. You're gonna separate this. Put the peg that's already in the foot and you wanna put it like that. And again, you have the peg here and this is gonna go inside that little hole there. There you go and it pegs real nice I still have the gun on them I don't know why well that's it that's okay so that's where the the pants are gonna plug what the heck is this for all right we'll figure it out oh there you go a nice sturdy hummer foot there you go oh it rotates too oh that's nice and he's... Oh, maybe I'm going to have to switch him because I don't know which one is. Um, if he's left or right. So I'll figure it out before I do the Bruticus review. Okay. Well, there you go. Foot mode. I'm actually very excited now. I don't know which one I'm going to like more. Still my Devastator or the Bruticus. But this is looking pretty good. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Also, leave a comment. Love reading those. Keep coming back. I have more on the way. And remember, nothing in life gives a right to be an asshole. Take care.